Did you take any more of the pain pill? I hate taking those damn things. Well, but Ridge, if you're in pain... Uh, it wasn't that bad. All right, maybe you should stay home today. Look, forget it. I'm coming to work. Thanks for calling, Dan. I'll see you there. Thanks for letting me sleep in. You tossed and turned all night. I had a lot on my mind. Who was that on the phone? Rich. He called? No, I called him. Well, I'm sure that he appreciated that, Eric. He's still my son. When he's hurt, I want to know how he's doing. How is he doing? Well enough to be at home. He's at home? Yes, he signed himself out of the hospital last night. Well, now that wasn't very smart. Oh, no, he sounds all right. Eric, he was a mess. You saw him. My God, he could have been killed. Well, he wasn't. And he felt good enough to go home, so he did. In fact, uh, he wants to go to work today. His judgment never was very good with this kind of thing. Well, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. We better get going. You go ahead. I'll drive myself. You will. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. Well, I can't wait. Go ahead. You're going to stop off and see Ridge, aren't you? Good morning. Is the doctor checking in? Well, hello, Doc. How are you? Oh, still a little sore. Sorry I passed out last night. Well, those were pretty strong sedatives that they gave you. Yeah, well, I'm back in action now. Now that dressing has to be changed, don't forget. Yes, ma'am. Of course, if you need some professional help. You are a doll. You're also too late. I changed that dress in an hour ago. Mmm, too bad. I'm a good doctor, but I am a great nurse. Hmm. Do you give baths? I get in the tub with a patient. Now that is what I call dedication. Why don't I come over and show you how dedicated I can be? Doc, you're getting me all hot and bothered. It's not even 9 a.m. Hey. You have a good day, all right? Yes, you too. Feel better. Thanks for calling. That is what you're going to do, isn't it? You're going to stop by the house and see Rich. All right, yes. That is what I'm going to do. He's probably resting, Brooke. You don't want me to see him. I see no reason for it. But I do. All right, I'll see you at work. Eric, I can expect me not to spend time with Rich. You know what I expect, Brooke. Yes, for me to be here in the evenings with you and the baby. That's part of it, yes. What else? I've explained this to you before. I know you remember it. As long as you live here with me, as long as you're married to me, you behave like a married woman. Now, don't ask me what that means, because I know you know what it means. Well, maybe you better remind me. All right. I'll be blunt. Whenever you're alone with Rich, you act like a married woman acts. I expect you would work.
Guess Dad gave you time off for good behavior, huh? Rich, that isn't funny. I'm sorry. Let me look at those. For dinner last night, yours or his? This is not going to make these bruises heal any faster, you know. When I think of what could have happened to you. Oh, it could have happened to any of us, Logan. At any given stroll through a parking lot late at night. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been in that parking lot. Well, at that particular moment, I'll have to agree with you. But I probably should have been at Dodger Stadium or someplace, I know. Or snuggled up by a fireplace somewhere with me. Yeah, in our dreams. You sound so cynical. Imagine that, huh? It won't be long before that dream comes true, Rich. Look, I don't really want to talk about this right now. Why not? That is what we're holding on to, isn't it? Our dream of being together? I don't know about you, Logan, but I'm just fighting to hold on to my sanity. So why were you in that parking lot last night? I was just getting my car. I know that. What were you doing out with Taylor? We were having dinner. Having dinner. Mm -hmm. Your idea or hers? Hers. I'm not so sure that would make any difference. In other words, it just as easily could have been yours. Logan, she's a friend. Well, she certainly wasn't dressed like a friend last night, Rich. Neither were you. No, it's true. We weren't. So how long has this been going on? How long has what been going on? Oh, come on. You and Taylor carrying on the way you were. We weren't carrying on, Logan. We were out on a date having fun. Something I haven't done in weeks. Something you haven't done in weeks. And I suppose that's my fault, right? No, it isn't your fault. It isn't my fault. It's just the way it is. Isn't that what you've been telling me for the last number of weeks? It's just the way it is? Well, I'm damn sick and tired of the way it is. I think we better talk about this. I think we better not. Ridge. Logan, there's nothing to talk about here. Unless you're willing to take your child and walk out of that apartment. In other words, fight the big fight. If that's what it comes down to, that's what you do. It doesn't have to come down to that. Look, I don't want to hear about this now, OK? Just drop it. All right, let's drop it. Now, what about Taylor? Taylor is my lifeline, my bridge to sanity. Well, she certainly looked like more than that last night. Are you going to promise me you're not going to go out with Dad? You won't get dressed up, go out to dinners and parties and holiday gatherings? Of course you will. You know why? Because Dad's going to expect it of you. And you're just going to fall in line with him because he wants you to. You just go and fall in line, Brooke. I'm not going to sit at home. Don't expect that. And Ridge aren't that solid, are they? So what are you telling me, Rich? That this is where it ends? Where it ends? Brooke, I've been waiting for it to begin. Well, it will. Just give it a chance. Give Dad a chance. That's what you mean, isn't it? Give him a chance to win you back? Well, fine. Go for it. But damn it, don't expect me to sit on the sidelines cheering him on. This is all about, Rich. Look, you want my support. I've tried. God knows I have tried, but I can't anymore, Brooke. I just can't. I'm sorry. So you don't want it enough? I want it too much. Well, then you have to pay the price. No, Brooke, the price has been paid. Now we have to get up and start our own life. Rich. Look, not in two months, two weeks, now. But you don't want to do it now. You want to wait. Well, I can't wait. I've waited long enough. I'm sorry. 
waited long enough.